Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Thank you so much for tuning in to my Short Term Trading Live with Oscars 2137th edition. Thank you, traders. This edition of these educational videos and these the art of technical analysis is the education I'm going to give you is coming at you on a Wednesday night for trading Wednesday night through Thursday, July 23rd, 2020. I've got some decent topics on the board I'd like to cover, but before we get there, please let me remind you of something if you don't already know this. Trading, it's really risky. Did you know that? <laughs> I kid you not. I mean, trading futures, trading options, trading stocks, ETFs, if you sell short naked futures, if you sell short naked options, you can lose way more than you have in your trading accounts with this insane volatility we're seeing, especially in the metals. If you don't know what you're doing, you really, really need to be careful. Put your stops in first, never trade without them, and do not trade without money earmarked to be lost in case that happens. If you understand those rules and if you play stops first before you trade, well then let's get moving. That means you got some common sense in this game. What is on the board? So, for trading on 723, I've got a green omni on the board, but that green omni is for gold, other metals, and some grains, certain grains. As far as E-mini S&P, NASDAQ, Russell, the Omni is giving mixed signals for Thursday in U.S. indices, so I don't know if we're going to get a chance to trade the indices. We've done great. How about the Omni this week, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Viva la Omni is all I have to say. Traders, you're here live to see it in my trading room, right? I mean, insane, isn't it? So, we're going to keep this Omni going. I don't know if we're going to come up with a trade in the mini s and I absolutely will come up with trades in the metals. I mentioned in my prior video to this one when I stood in front of this camera last and I said, hey, is there a whiff of inflation coming? Well, boy, oh boy, have markets moved. That would create inflation since that video only a few days ago. And number three on the board, the easy money has already been made in silver and gold traders. I grew up in the silver and gold pits. Listen to me. 38 and a half, almost 39 years deep in this business. Started at 18 in the silver pit. I am telling you now, the easy money has already been made. It is filling now with novices. People that are like Robin Hood style traders that are going to get involved in silver and gold. They've never traded it in their lives. They do not understand the power of these markets. Then there will be this. Silver is the widow maker. If you don't know that, you will find out if you trade silver, they are going to raise margins on silver very shortly and chase traders out. Now, why would they do that? First, they always do when silver moves. Second, silver is $50 a point. If you were in silver on Wednesday and took on a one lot trade, you could have profited or lost $7,500 on a one lot. That's not 100 shares. That's not a two-lot trade. A one-lot trade in silver on Wednesday would have cost you, or you would have made, 7500 You must realize the exchanges can't allow that to fly around without culling the crowd and knocking out the people who can't afford to be in. So they will raise the margins on silver soon. They always do. And that will knock the price down a little and chase out the weak hands. So I am telling you now, it's choppy. It's going to jump all over the place because the novices are piling in that don't know how to trade this game. The margins are big. The losses are ginormous if you get it right. And the profits are fantastic if you get those right. So the crowd is in to silver and gold. Silver's a widow maker, kids. Take my word for it. Don't get involved. Trade the gold. You'll be butt safer. Anyway, so that's the topics on the board. I would urge you to subscribe to these videos. Subscribe to them right now so that you know when the next video comes out. I put them out just about every night, whether I stand in front of this camera or record my screen, but just about every night, I give you an update to show you what should happen the next day. And this is what we're dealing with for trading on Thursday. So, I'm going to show you the chart segment in just a moment. There are some grains that look good. Metals definitely look good. Don't forget, the silver's a widow maker. And then there's this. Traders, for weeks now, Weeks I've been talking to my trading room about something that I've noticed 
Now I'm starting to finally see there are some smart politicians out there that are putting the clues together themselves. This has to do with China. Now listen, maybe you haven't read this book before, but most of us have. And here's the book I'm talking about. A biological chemical, a biological weapon, a chemical weapon has been released, whether it was on purpose, by accident, that's happening now. We've got a prison camp with one to one and a half million people in China. China has taken over the property of Hong Kong. They are at the Indian border of New Delhi, fighting with them, trying to take over some of their territory. They have already told Taiwan that Taiwan's next and they're taking them back. What else does this mean to you? Does this not amount to World War II? Do you remember, anyone remember Germany? Prison camps, biological weapons, taking over territories. I mean, come on. China is literally turning into Germany back in the late 30s. If no one's recognizing it, please do, people. I've been talking about this for months or weeks and weeks at least, but it is happening. It is happening now. Please keep your eye on them. They are not playing, they're not playing games here. These people are playing for keeps. They're looking to play tough. We need to as well, especially at that South China Sea. What they do is they move out a thousand miles, they take over an island, and they call everything in between the island and them their own, and they just keep expanding. Someone's got to stop the march of the new Germans called the Chinese. Hopefully, we all get together and put an end to this nonsense. With no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Traders, the Dow Jones Industrial Average Daily Bar Chart. I like this chart. I showed this to you the other day and last night. I showed you that this bull flag was working. We're above the 200 ball moving average. Even though it's a little bull flag, we've broken out so far. And even though Omni's giving mixed signals in U.S. indices, if we had a deep enough pullback in the E-mini S&P, we would probably buy that pullback. For now, we're going to sit tight and watch. That's not our focus, but if we get into the indices, we do. If not, no big deal. But here is the real story, traders. A whiff of inflation, is there one coming our way? Well, I mentioned that to you when, when the dollar was starting to drop. I mentioned it again a few days back when it really started to drop. This is the big story. The dollar continues to break harder. Now, remember, the dollar is only at 95 to 94. It's not really cheap right now. There's no panic in it at all. It's okay for the dollar to drop from here. You know what I mean? It's near 100. It's not near 80. So it's fine to go lower. It's actually really helpful to the United States. But here's what it's creating, this dollar going down. Look at euro currency. Look at the explosion in euro currency recently after this nice bull flag. Big rally is now breaking out of the channel. Why? Because U.S. dollar's going down. Inflation, baby. Gold. Look at the fat, beautiful run we've had in gold. Once again, why? U.S. dollars. And we're certainly going to be buying dips in gold for trading Wednesday night into Thursday. Silver. The Widowmaker. Two targets, 25.05, 25.99, two short-term targets. Those are upward targets. Now, listen, traders, when I tell you silver's the widow maker, when the music's playing, it's a great market at $50 a point. Look at the way it runs. But when the music stops in silver, widows, widows, widows. So just be careful, okay? We actually bought silver this evening early. We, I think we're up about 30 points on silver already. We will be quick to get out because I do not trust that market. I think it's going to flip around. And as I mentioned, when they raise margins, it's going to chase all the weak hands out. But for now, two quick targets, 25.05 and 25.99 in your September silver. Look at what it's done to platinum. Dollar index moving lower. Platinum, another market moving higher. These markets create inflation. Copper, look at that run in copper. My goodness, it's just about just about going to breach $3, $3 per pound. I mean, wow. When I started in the business, copper was $0.65. Cents. <laughs> it's like $3 per pound now. And then, of course, look at wheat and many other grains, but the wheat is really starting to go now. And I think wheat makes a smart trade towards the upside for the next couple of days if we can buy it in a smart spot. So traders, this is what I'm trying to show you. Certainly the dollar going down, it's good for the US right now because it's not going down too far too fast. At least not yet it hasn't. And it's making other markets go absolutely crazy which gives us day traders great opportunity. 
Come join me and let's finish this video. Okay, traders, you've seen the charts. You see my technical reasoning why I want to trade these trades. Come to livewithoscar.com. Jump into my free live trading room. No credit cards are required. And join me while we go through these trades. Hundreds of other traders from around the world are there. Every day we gather. Come join us. It'll cost you nothing and you'll learn a lot. All right, so the topics have been covered. The easy money, I assure you, watch the way silver flips around these next couple of days. The easy money's been made. Be careful over there. We'll see if E-mini S&P sets up, if it pulls back far enough. Otherwise, we'll leave it alone. But I think the gold, you're still safe playing that gold trade. So let's see where that goes. Traders, remember, OmniCamp is happening September 10th through the 15th. It's a five-night, four-day stay here in Las Vegas. I've got one ticket. One. That's it. Please send me your applications. I will plow through them. I will interview each and every one of you, and I will only choose one. But there's one open seat, and let that be you. I will teach you how to do this Omni for yourselves. I will teach you this craft. You will not need me to come up with these trades any longer. You can come up with your own fantastic professional trades yourself. One open seat, livewithoscar.com. Fill out your OmniCamp applications or go to OmniBootCamp. Dot com and fill out a questionnaire there, and I will call you and question you about Omnicamp. All right, traders, that's it. Keep your emotions out of trading. If you want to send the emotions somewhere, send them towards the lunatics that are trying to start World War III. I've already mentioned that to you. Say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know what that is. Stop so. Performance is not indicative of future results. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.